My name is Ernesto Manuel Cantone, Product Marketing Manager for MEMS and Sensors for Geo Accounts out of Portland, Oregon. In this demo, we'll show you how to use a sensor tilted box in professional mode as an asset tracker in an end-to-end -end example of a sensor to cloud application. For this demo, we'll need a sensor tilted box out of its usual enclosure this time as we're going to use the user button an Android phone, I'm using a Pixel phone with Android 9, and a laptop with a browser, I'm going to use Chrome. The sensor tilted box is running the function pack FPATR BLE1 and is communicating via Bluetooth low energy to the ST asset tracking app on your Android device. The app will then funnel the sensor data to a cloud application powered by AWS and the very same data is accessible via the dashboard asset tracking that you can find on www.st.com. In today's demo, we'll use Google Login to the dashboard, while in its final form, a myst.com account will be required. On the dashboard, let's navigate on the top left menu and log in with your Google account. As you see, no devices are present. On the smartphone, here mirrored on the screen, let's open the ST Asset Tracking app and tap on the cloud icon to also log in. Nothing to see here also. Let's go back to the main menu and tap on the Bluetooth icon. Allow Bluetooth access to the app and let's press the user button on the sensor tile box to start advertising. You see now ATB underscore 100, that is the default name for the sensor tile running this function pack. We can now configure our tracker based on sensor tile box. Let's set the sensor reading to one minute. We can now add the features and triggers to the tracker. For example, temperature greater than 30 degrees Celsius. Humidity greater than 50%. Adding a wake-up interrupt based on shock greater than 2G. And finally, a detection of a tilt event. Next, let's hit the save button and the sensor tilted box will disconnect and start logging. Let's focus now on the sensor tile feed on the bottom right of the screen. Every time that an event is triggered, a blue light is blinking. For sake of time, let's speed up now and fast forward a couple of minutes in the future. Back on the application, let's tap on the Bluetooth icon and press the user button on the sensor tilted box to connect it to the app. I will now move to the data tab and as you see, the collected data are now being transmitted to the app. The app will ask if we want to sync cloud data. Let's tap on OK. Next, I need to give a unique name to my tracker, in this case ST underscore DevCon. The app is now communicating with the AWS cloud and creating a thing associated to the sensor tilted box in my account and exchanging the security certificates to guarantee the uniqueness of my tracker. Once connected, the upload phase starts and the data now residing on the phone are being transferred to the cloud. There you go, uploaded, completed. And as you can see, we can visualize directly on the app both the sensor data and the alerts triggered by events. Let's go back now on the browser. I click on Devices and refresh the browser status. As you can see now, the thing stdevcon is available and the same data we've seen on the smartphone, now augmented with the location data from the phone, can be accessed from anywhere. Now for the last part of our demo, I left the sensor tilted box collecting data for a couple of hours. 
and I'm following the same procedure I highlighted before, tapping on the Bluetooth button on the app, then pressing the user button on the sensor tell box, and then navigating to the data tab once connected. Now a noticeable amount of data is being transferred from the sensor type dot box to the app via Bluetooth Low Energy. And this can take some time due to bandwidth limitation as we see. Again, sync completed. And uh, notice all the historic data collected, what can be a snapshot of the status of your package during shipment. Let's upload to the Cloud app for further analysis. Since we have already created the AWS thing, this time the app won't ask for the name, as the sensor box is recognized by its MAC address. Here's the data synchronized to the Cloud now. Let's go back on the dashboard and this time let's click on telemetry. We can select the stdefcon sensor tile box and the feature of interested with this time frame. In this case, temperature for the last three hours. Let's click on the play button to fetch this data. Next, let's select humidity again for the same three hours. Let's click then on the events and again select the stdefcon for the last three hours. We can observe here all the events triggered, wake up and tilt. In today's demo, we showed how to build an end-to-end -end asset tracking solution with the dashboard asset tracking and sensor tile dot box. The dashboard supports other RF connectivity options on top of BLE, Sigfox, LoRa, LTE, and NFC. We'd like here to highlight that this dashboard is compatible with the Function Pack Sense Smart Tag 1, running on the Nucleo hardware or on the Form Factor ST NFC sensor. Thanks for your time today.